Hello again everyone, Derek Floyd here from the Beautiful Now Project and the Motivation Minute. Today I am beyond excited to share with you that we are starting a brand new series today called Change Your Life. This one I hope means a lot to you because it means a lot to me. It's something that I want to share with you and that it's a journey we take together to make sure we can find a way to change our lives for the better. Come on and check this out. Stay with me. Now most of us would assume that the only time to really try to change your life is when something is going poorly or negative, or when you've got a bad situation, bad relationship, bad job, so on. But can I challenge you to think that maybe you can change your life when things are good, when things seem to be just fine? Why would you want to change your life then? Well, let me add that there's always a level that you can change from content to fulfillment, from good to great. And that if you're not doing what you're really called to do, wired to do, what's on fire in your belly to do, then you maybe not be reaching your full potential. Therefore, it's time to make a change. There's an example of a gentleman who, is, who was a runner in the movie Chariots of Fire. And this gentleman's name was Eric. He chased his fire, so to speak, to be a runner, even though his parents were Chinese missionaries and they wanted him to be a missionary. But what he told them was so profound and something I want to challenge you with today. He said, God made me fast and I feel his pleasure when I run. Think about that for a moment. What do you do in your life that you feel God's pleasure on you when you're doing it? That is your fire. And if you can channel that fire, chase that chariot of fire, so to speak, I bet you'll have more fulfillment, more contentment, more happiness, more joy in your life because you're doing what you feel like God is pleased with. After all, the scriptures say, do everything you can to the glory of God because he created you. So if you're doing everything you can to please God, then you're pleasing yourself and he's happy with you. Imagine how good you feel being contented, doing the one thing you know you were wired to do, the one thing you know that made God happy. I think you wanna do that all the time, right? So I challenge you today, your first point is to find your chariot of fire. Find that thing that you feel God is the most pleased with and do that with all your might as often as possible. And find and see that your life is going to get even better from good to great, from content to fulfilled, doing that one thing as often as you can. Hope that helps you today. Now, here's the interactive part today. I want to know what your chariot of fire is. What is the thing that you feel God is most pleased with you? Put that in the comments below and we'll all be praying for you that you do that thing even more. And you try to do that thing every day. Find a way to do a little bit more of it every day. I myself, my chariot of fire is music. And I love to play, I love to write, I love to sing. But I haven't been doing it as well because I've been so busy with everything else. So I promise you guys, I'm going to work on my chariot of fire. I'm going to spend more time actually every day putting my hands on the keys because that's when I feel like God is most pleased with me. What's the thing that you feel? Put that down in the comments below. We'll all encourage each other today. Let me know how you're doing over the week to see if you've been doing that one thing more and more. Take care, guys. Have a great one.